As students return to campus this fall, colleges and universities face a looming budget threat. Fewer students coming from China, and that means less money. Robert Frank joins us with more on that. What kind of uh, schools are getting hit by this, Robert? Well, Becky, it's mainly the public universities because there are more than 300,000 students from China studying in the U.S. right now. Their tuition and spending estimated at up to $16 billion a year. But now that big money stream may be running out. Student visas, or F1s, issued to Chinese nationals falling by half this year compared to pre-COVID. Applications on Common App for the 2022 school year down 37% from their peak. Now, political and social tensions between the U.S. and China, that's one reason. But visa problems and fears about China and anti-Asian sentiment and gun violence also big factors. Public universities, as we just said, taking the biggest financial hit since international students, they sometimes pay more than twice the tuition of in-state residents. Ohio State losing about 1,000 or 25 percent of its China students since the pandemic. Michigan State losing about 350. Now, like many schools, Michigan has launched a new campaign to diversify away from China. Schools now looking to India, Vietnam, Turkey, Greece, and other parts of Africa. Now, if they can't fill these international spots, they may have to raise tuition even more since they were making so much money from these very full tuition rates paid by international students. Guys? Hey, Robert, the reason I asked which universities were being impacted the most, the idea that it's the state schools, I mean, that's pretty interesting because states pony up a lot of the budget for those things. You would think that they would be more interested in making sure there were students from their state who were getting access to some of these schools. I've always kind of had a problem with that. I, I, I think at this point, I just looked it up, Rutgers gets 20 percent of its budget from the state of New Jersey. It does have more than 20 percent of the student body coming from New Jersey. But what expectations are there for those slots to go to students who live in the state that is getting uh, an, uh, an, uh, that is giving a huge amount of the funding for that school? Well, that has always been part of the big debate about international students, particularly those from China, you know, because they are supposedly taking slots from in-state residents and from U.S. residents. But, you know, so the slots will go perhaps more to in-state, more to U.S. students. That's great for the U.S., great for those in-state students. But the question is still that budget hole that is left because those in-state students are paying less than half what the international students are. So, yes, the slots will go more local, but who's going to fill that financial hole that's left? That's going to be the big question.